This is Bearded Appliance Repair, and we're gonna help you fix it. Howdy folks, we have a Whirlpool dishwasher today for you. It's not drying the dishes. The problem happened to be the element, but in this video, I will show you how I came to that conclusion along with replacing the element itself as well. And if you guys are experiencing anything similar to this, whether it's not drying your dishes, you're not seeing any steam or anything come out of it, uh, this video should help you out. Uh, we're gonna be going through diagnostics testing for amp draw and what that means along with testing for voltage to the heating element itself and comment if you have any questions uh hope this video helps guys thanks for watching here we go first thing we're going to do is we're going to get into diagnostics and you can pick any of these buttons on the left hand side you just go one two three one two three one two three once you do that three times, you should see all these lights like this. That's how you know you're in diagnostics. Uh, first thing that's gonna pop up is uh, air codes, and you can check these air codes on the tech sheet that you'll find behind the kick plate. Uh, we're not gonna go over that in this video, but uh, I can tell you for these air codes, that light that's blinking there, that clean light, you count how many times that blinks. You'll get two numbers, uh, whether it's a six, and then another six or maybe a seven and then a one yeah you just go over those numbers in the tech sheet and you can find out what those errors are but we're not going to go over that we are going to advance all the way until the heating element cycle but you do find that information in the tech sheet to advance all you do is hit the start button and i mean this diagnostic is kind of confusing um, to make it simple, if you're just going to be testing the element, I like to hit the start button and go all the way until you hear the drain pump come on. When you hear the drain pump come on, <clears throat> um, that's near the end of the test cycle. And at the end of it, it is the heating element portion of it. The heating element, it'll come on for no more than two minutes. So once you get to the end of this, It'll turn on that drain pump and you just wait for it to stop. And then once it stops, we're gonna do our test. All right, once you get to that part of the cycle, you get down here and open up where those wires are, put your amp clamp meter around the black wire and you can get an amp draw. We're getting zero, zero, so that means that heating element is not working. So we're gonna test for voltage and make sure we get voltage back there. Um, you'll see those blue wires hanging down from the bottom of the tub. We are gonna check for 120. This element runs on 120. So you'll see me here in a second. We'll get that, one of our leads onto one of those blue wires and we're gonna check on each side of it. Um, you can also read continuity if you take these wires off to make sure that fuse is good, but you can also do this as well. But you see we got 120 on one side of the fuse. And we're going to go back in here and we're going to check the other side. If we got 120 on this side of the fuse, we can probably tell right away that our element is bad. If you don't get 120 on the other side of that fuse, you're looking at a bad fuse. You can just go ahead and swap that out. That'd be cheaper and easier to do than swapping out this element. But that is our problem. The element is bad. We are going to go ahead and swap this element out, put a new one in. And to get it off, you need a three quarter inch ratchet and there's some nuts on the back side of this. It's a lot easier to do this with a dishwasher uninstalled, but I hate uninstalling dishwashers, so I like to do it the hard way. Um, as long as your arms are skinny enough, you can get back there and get those nuts off to get the element out. But that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and get these nuts out. All right, remember folks, whenever you get the testing done that you need power for, um, whenever you start to go work on things, 
whether it's taking off a drain pump or heating element or what, you always want to disconnect power. So go ahead and turn off this circuit breaker before you go ahead and swap out your heating element, control board, uh, thermal fuse, whatever it may be. Yeah, I know this is not a good angle or to actually see what I'm doing, but the right side is even worse, so you won't even be able to see that at all. But once you get those two nuts off, you're ready to get this element out. So you get that rack out, and then you take off that wash arm, and this element should come right off. And once you get that element off, you put the new element back in. One other tip is you can actually visually see if a heating element is bad. You see that little burn mark right there in the middle of that? Um, that right there is a sign that a heating element is bad. So if you see that, you could probably go ahead and swap it and not have to do any testing. Um, but if you do the test, it'll tell you if something else may be an issue as well. But we got that old element out. We're going to put the new element in. And you just do exact opposite of what you did to get it out you may have to uh, bend these elements to make them fit the way that they're supposed to so if it doesn't you know fit in the holes like it's supposed to or if it's not as round that you need it to be or something along those lines you'll just have to bend it into place um, but once you get it bent the right way the element should go right into those holes and you put those nuts back on. Once you got everything back on, all the wires, the nuts, um, everything you took off, you put it back in diagnostics, you get all the way to the end of that cycle to where it's testing the heating element. You put your amp clamp around that black wire and you check for amp draw. And if you're getting anything between six to eight amps, you know that heating element is working. You can verify by putting your hand next to it or seeing steam off of this one here. But once that's done, you're good to go. If this has helped you out, like, subscribe, comment. Thanks for watching.